time for a black and white tutorial. Let's create this deep contrast black and white image. This will be our starting image and this is what we're going to transform into. Let me quickly remove the adjustments and start over. By the way, notice that I am on the Pixel Studio. The first step is to convert it to black and white. I have many tutorials about that, so check the links in the description. For this example, we are going to add a fill layer using the pixel menu and then set its color to black. If we change the blend mode of the fill layer to color, we get a black and white image. The next step is to add a levels adjustment from the layers panel. In the levels adjustment, let's increase the black level to around 30%. This gives us already that contrasty look. In this example, the background turned black. If you have a photo with a light background, that would probably not be the case, but I'll show you later how to achieve that. Now for the real magic, we are going to add a curves adjustment and lower the curve as shown. When we set the blend mode to reflect, we get the exact super black contrast we are looking for. To make the white stronger, we can now add a levels adjustment on top. No changes needed, but we do need to change the blend mode to screen. Excellent, now we have much stronger whites. Using the blend ranges, we can lower the effect of this adjustment on the blacks, making sure the blacks are not affected and brightened up. Beautiful, our effect is basically done. Optionally, we can add some details back. To do that, I'll duplicate the original image and move this to the top of the layer stack. We can now add a gradient map adjustment. In the gradient map adjustment, we can move the middle point and make the black point black and set the white point to dark gray. Before we move on, let's also make sure that this gradient map adjustment is a child of the duplicated image, so that the gradient map is only applied to the duplicated layer. We can now use this layer to selectively bring back some details. To do that, we will first add an empty mask which we can add by holding the Alt or Option key while pressing on the mask icon in the layers panel. This will open up the mask options and now we can select empty mask. With the mask selected, we can use the brush tool to paint in the areas we want to restore. Make sure you have a low flow brush with no hardness. Select the white color and paint in the areas you want to recover. In this example, I want to get the details back from the hair so I'll mask in the hair. Remember that we can always go back to the gradient map adjustment and adjust the white point to a different gray tint to fit our image. If you continue with the mask, make sure to select the mask so that you don't accidentally mask the gradient map adjustment. Once you're done with the masking, you can adjust the opacity to control the final strength. Awesome, here is the before and here is the after. To finish up, we can add an optional pixel layer and paint the areas we want to have stronger white with a white brush. To make sure it only affects the white areas, we can set the blend mode to soft light and change the blend range of the pixel layer we painted on so that the blacks and the dark grays are protected. Now let's take a look on an image with a light background. We start the same, a black fill layer with the color blend mode to turn the image into black and white. To get rid of the light background, we can add another fill layer in black. We can now add the mask to it. Using a white brush on the mask, I can paint back the subject. You could also use the Select Subject tool to create the mask, but for this method, there is no need to have an exact mask, so painting the mask quickly is a faster option for me. Now that our background is black, we can continue with the same steps as demonstrated before. Add the levels adjustment and increase the black point, followed by the curves adjustment in reflect blend mode. Keep in mind that the initial levels adjustment can still be adjusted to get a better result. For example, I think this looks much better. Now we can add the second levels adjustment in screen blend mode and adjust the blend range to make the white stronger. If the effect of this is too strong, you can adjust the opacity to your liking. As mentioned, optionally, we can get some details back by duplicating the original image and adding a gradient map adjustment with black and dark gray. Then use an empty mask and paint back in the areas we want to recover. Finally, if you want, you can add a pixel layer in soft light blend mode to make the white stronger, selectively by painting with a white brush or even dim down areas by using a black brush. 
don't forget to adjust the blend range of the painted pixel layer to control its effect. Pretty awesome. By the way, I also updated my Insta25 Micro collection to include a macro which does all these steps for you with one click. After you apply the macro, adjust the first levels adjustment for your photo and optionally mask the duplicate with the gradient as you see fit. In this example, I also brightened the eyes as I felt they had become too dark. This is just one way of creating this effect and I'm going to put some other links in the description for my other videos which show alternative methods to achieve similar effects. Hope you liked this video and hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave. Until the next video.